Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What have I guys today is something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a custom theme, wallpaper, background, whatever you want to call it, on your PS4. Uh, this is really simple, you don't need a USB, you don't need anything like that. It's really quick, it's really simple, and you can do it in about 2 minutes. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So as you guys can see, for my custom background, I do have a black and white looking over the water picture, and it's really easy on your eyes whenever you're playing at night, or I don't know, it just looks kind of cool in my opinion, it's something a little bit different, you don't really see it too often, and I don't know, I just think it looks pretty dope. So anyways, what you want to do in order to get a custom background or theme on your PS4 is first up, go to the internet browser. Now, if you do not have an internet browser like I do right now on your little tab right here, you want to go to your library and click on all. Once you are on all, uh, you should see a internet browser application over there. It's either going to be on the top or bottom, it really depends. Um, how often you use it and, you know, how your PS4 has it, but nonetheless, it's going to be there 100%. Once you find your internet browser, you want to go on Google or Bing. It really depends on what you like using. I prefer Google, so uh, that is why I'm using it. But anyways, what you want to do is either type in uh, the picture you're looking for. So if you're looking for like a car background or, um, you know, a Call of Duty background, whatever you want, you want to type that in your search box and you want to go to images. The only problem with that, most of the time, it's actually going to send you to a different website and you're not actually going to be able uh, to copy that picture and make it your theme. So what I found out to work the best, in my opinion, is go to papers.co and from this website, it's pretty much like a iPhone um, background like website you can get backgrounds from. It's 100% free, you don't really have to do anything. So uh, just type in papers.co on Google and go to the first link. Once you go to the first link, you guys will see this is pretty much what pops out. Um, so as you guys can see, that's the, the picture I have. Uh, this is where I got it from. But uh, nonetheless, you can go and pretty much search any pictures you want here. There's like 830 different pages you can look through and find the right image for uh, your PS4. But for example, I'm going to still use... Um, actually, no, we're going to use another one. Uh, we're going to use this one. So what you want to pretty much do is just go over the image, click it, and... You guys will see how it looks on like your iPad, your iPhone, whatever. We don't really care about that since this is, you know, on PS4. But uh, what you want to do is go all the way down and select the desktop uh, wallpaper size. So I, I know a lot of people that select 1920 by 1080, but it looks kind of weird in my opinion. So what I do is just select the, the highest like resolution. And so for me, it's 3840 by 2400. Uh, once you do that, you you will see it, it looks kind of small and looks kind of normal, uh, but you want to play a square and go to full page. Once you go on full page, you guys will notice that there's going to be like lines, either black lines or white lines on the sides, and you don't want that. It, it's going to look awful, and it, it's just not really good at all. So what you want to do is press your right thumbstick down, and what that does is pretty much zooms in on the image. Once you zoom into the image, you can go over uh, any direction and see kind of what looks the best and what kind of fits on your screen the best. And once you find the sweet spot, all you really have to do is just press your share button and take a screenshot. So you guys know what I mean by this. If you're playing like a game or whatever, uh, you take screenshots by just pressing the share button and then click X on the screenshot and says screenshot saved to capture gallery. Now, once you do that, all you have to do, you're pretty much done with like the the capturing process. Once you do that, all you really have to do is go to your settings, uh, which is right here, go to your themes, uh, go to select theme, go all the way on the bottom where it says custom, and select image. And then you want to go to all, and right there you will see all the images you have on your PS4. As you guys can see, I've been playing 2K, so I have a lot of 2K, Destiny 2, anything like that. Uh, but right here, I have my two custom screenshots for my theme. So what you want to do is go over this, click on it, click apply, wait for it to apply. It's going to take like a minute or two. Press back, press back, and you guys will notice that this is my theme. Now, like I said, the best place to get your images from is probably that website. You can also go on Google, like I said, and go to images, but most of the time the image is going to be a little bit different or it's going to be small and it's just going to look blurry and choppy on your theme. So uh, just find the right website, try out the one I, I showed you guys. Um, if you don't find anything interesting, obviously go to a different website or just, you know, search it on Google. But anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. 
I respond to all my comments, but once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.